Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, Casey J here, and today I'm going to be giving you some confessions of weird facts about me. First off, I rarely do my hair. You've probably noticed if you watch any of my videos because my hair is usually incredibly chaotic. I like makeup. I have learned to like makeup ever since I had really bad acne when I was younger and then I had to perform constantly because I was a dancer and a singer and so it seemed like I constantly had to perform all the time and then I went to college and I got a performance degree so I always had to look good almost always and so I became pretty good at makeup but I am definitely a tomboy tom girl however you want to say that and so aside from makeup I don't really know how else I mean I can do fashion okay I mean I'm wearing Wyoming clothes today but I can wear cute clothes yes but I can't do my hair and I rarely do my nails I don't do my nails because I'm a musician and when you play violin and piano and guitar like nails get in the way they bug me and it makes it really hard to play those instruments so I rarely ever have like this is almost too long of nails for me that I have right now and I rarely paint them because they chip when you play music and because I'm a farm girl they chip when I'm out doing things and I just don't have the patience to nicely pick something up and not mess my nails up. So, I can do makeup, but hair and nails are a whole different story. I love to sing Disney songs. I love Disney. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love to sing Disney songs. When I was a little girl, I used to run around pretending I was a different Disney character each day. And I was usually Ariel, but occasionally I was Hercules. And people would be like, who are you today? And I'd be like, I'm Hercules. Yeah, I'm a dork. And so I would sing Disney songs everywhere I went. And at last I see the light And it's like the fog has lifted And at last I see the light And it's like the sky is new And it's warm and real and bright And the world has somehow shifted All at once Everything looks different now that I see you. The next thing is, um, one of my subscribers asked me my favorite kind of coffee to get. So if I'm at Starbucks, I like to get a gingerbread frappuccino. Sadly, that is only a seasonal drink. So I usually only go to Starbucks when I want that drink. And I did get a Java, Java chip frappuccino today. And it's good, but it's not as good as a gingerbread frappuccino. When I go to the Crux Coffee, which is a coffee shop in the town that I live, when I go there, I like to get a dirty chai latte. And that's probably my normal drink that I always get, is either a dirty chai latte or something gingerbread. But when I'm at home, I actually drink black coffee. So, like when I drink my actual cup of coffee every day at home, I'm drinking black coffee all day long. And I'm addicted. I try to only drink about two cups because I used to drink so much coffee that my doctor even wrote that I was highly caffeinated, so to speak. So I drink probably about two cups of coffee a day. I actually enjoy decluttering and organizing. Like I get this sick sense of accomplishment and I just really like it. My husband must have wrote a note in my stuff over there. I didn't notice that. Okay. Sorry. I like love decluttering, I love going through things, and I love organizing and making it look pretty. I don't know why, I'm just weird and maybe slightly OCD. I love to write lists, which probably goes along with that weird tendency. I love writing lists. I don't know why, I just do. It's fun to write it, I like to check it off and see what I've done. Makes me feel good. <laughs> and I like to write things down. I don't know why, I just, I like to write things down. I am only five foot tall. So I'm like five foot and three quarters of an inch or something like that. So, I mean, on camera you can't actually tell, but when you hang out with me, I'm this really short little woman with lots of curves and muscles. I mean, I am, I, I am not a, a tall twig at all. I'm the definition of dynamite in a small package. Which is what my grandpa always says. He's like, dynamite comes in small packages, Casey. It's okay to be tiny. So yeah, I'm really little. When I drive our Razor, like our Polaris, I can't actually buckle in if I'm driving because I'm too short to reach the pedals. Yeah, I'm a midget. 
So I am afraid to dance in front of my husband. Like I have danced my whole life. I'm a good dancer. I love dancing and I love going to dances where I can just cut loose. If my husband's present, it like I can't do it. I can't dance in front of him. I don't know. I'm stupid. It's like he's there and I'm like, I can't dance in front of you. I think it's because he's the only person I actually have to impress. I married him. If he doesn't like it, I'd be crushed. <laughs> and so that's probably why I can't dance in front of my husband because I'm a pansy. Okay, this is funny. I do squats while I brush my teeth. Yes, that's weird. But when I brush my teeth at night, sometimes in the morning too, I usually do at least 30 squats. And then sometimes I do like backwards um, bak maz, like leg lifts, like backwards to work on my hamstrings because for some reason I can get quad muscles really easy, but getting hamstrings is a lot harder for me. So I do that to help, just to help keep my hamstrings up. I use a super redneck viewfinder right now. I can't find a cable that's HDMI to USB for this little tiny screen I have. It's not like just a USB, it's not a USB-C, it's not a normal camera one, it's like one specific kind and I can't find it in my local Walmart. So I need to get it probably on Amazon. And so my viewfinder right now is a mirror zip tied to a light tripod. Yep, it's pretty redneck. So I see I just put the mirror behind it and then when I need to see if I'm like in focus and I can't exactly tell which kind of sucks because it's far enough away like I'm looking at it right now it's far enough away that I can't actually tell if I'm in focus right now I have to kind of just hope for the best and but it at least lets me see my composition it lets me see what I'm showing and it helps to some extent obviously it's not perfect and I'm gonna get my actual viewfinder to work but right now I have that super redneck one. Oh, here's another confession my car doesn't go in reverse. <laughs> and sometimes I can't even get in the driver's door because the lock doesn't always work. And sometimes I have to crawl into my seat. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I have a seriously redneck vehicle. Our truck's nice, but my vehicle has seen better days. <laughs> What's another goofy thing about me? I love Veggie Tales. Veggie Tales are great. Not the new ones by Netflix. Those are the original good ones. Veggie Tales, good stuff. <laughs> I love cop shows. Love them. Blue Bloods, NCIS, uh, Laura something. I mean, if it's a cop show, I've probably watched it. Oh, another confession. When I was a little girl, actually most of my life, I wanted to be a cop. Yes. All five foot of me would love to be a cop or an investigator. I would love it so much. And But the only issue is that I feel like I would get too involved and I would hurt really bad for people. Like, I am so deep, I feel so deeply emotionally about people's pain. Like, when I watch movies, I literally feel as if that were to happen to me like if my mother were to die or someone I loved had something bad to happen to them I feel it so deeply that it just hurts and I could probably not be a cop for that reason because I wouldn't be able to separate it or cope I would struggle real hard but I would also love it hats off to law enforcement the good ones because they're protecting us on a hundred different levels Law enforcement is good. Go cops. Unless you're full of yourself and you just do it because you're power hungry. But the rest of you, good job. Hats off to justice. Okay. The last confession of all is, I don't know if I want to only do makeup videos. So, right now I have like, basically almost all entirely makeup videos. And I've realized that I want to do more than that. Like, I could do some vlogs in my life, but I want to do some fun things like decorate the house with me, or work out with me, or um, funny rants about stuff. I mean, wish hauls, uh, Amazon hauls. I want to do like fun different tests of things in my life. I want this to be a lot of fun, and I also want to be like encouraging. So I want to do stuff that helps uplift my community, like uplift my subscribers, and make them 
oh goodness Serge, right on my teeth. Like a reach out to my subscribers and have a relationship with them and a community that I can uplift them and encourage them and give them advice. And so I just, I want it to still be a lot of makeup, there'll be style and lots of fun things, but I think I want to add more than just makeup. I want to add fun, I want to add humor, I want to add my house and life. One person I can kind of think of that I would like my channel to be somewhat similar to what she does, probably more lifestyle stuff than her, is Mia Maples, and I'll link her channel below. I love her to death, she's hilarious and she's super fun. But she does wish hauls, she does looks, she does makeup, she does a lot of fun things and I really enjoy seeing the creativity that comes about because she just does so many things and that kind of channel keeps me interested. Like I find myself like, oh I want to throw on some YouTube and I'm just like, oh let's put on Mia or Maya. I hope her name's Mia. Whoops. I enjoy that aspect of creativity whereas I've realized that my favorite Beauty vloggers, oftentimes I'll listen, but then I begin to tune it out because I'm just like used to everything makeup or the techniques aren't something super new to me and it's just the products and I can't purchase all those products. So it's just like I, I don't always pay attention anymore, which is not good. And I find myself like only watching two beauty vloggers. So it's like Kathleen Lights and Ali Glines and sometimes Nikki Tutorials, sometimes Tati. Sometimes a couple other people, but I'm usually just those two people. And so I realized what I really like is I like humor, I like encouragement, I like lifestyle, I love beauty obviously, and I want to put everything that, all of that into one for you guys. So if you have videos you want to see, I want you to comment them below, please give me ideas and I know I already have plenty of ideas so it's not like you're I can't figure something out without you telling me, but I do want to give you what, what you guys want. So don't worry, I'm still going to be doing a majority of makeup on here. It's going to be a lot of makeup, but it's also going to be more lifestyle, more fun, humor, encouragement, lots of good stuff. And also, I'm going to be doing a video coming up pretty soon about acne because I had really bad acne and I know also some of you guys have acne. And so I want to do a video about that and I'm going to be giving all my subscribers my free ebook about acne. If you were to buy it on my website, you would spend, I think it's like $4 or $5, but I'm going to give it to you guys for free, all my subscribers, if you would like it and I'll email it to you. So I just, I want to really give back to you guys and I really want to make a difference in your life. I started this channel thinking, let's do beauty, let's talk to the world, and I don't know, I didn't, I did want to reach a community but now it's like I want to reach it deeper. Like I want to invest in you guys' lives and I want you to get good stuff out of this instead of it just being like you watching me throw stuff on my face every day. So yeah, that's my last confession. I'm going to shut up now. I love you guys. Have an awesome day. Make sure to subscribe and come back. <laughs> Bye guys. Don't forget me. I beg. Whoops. I remember you say sometimes it lasts in love, but sometimes it hurts instead. Sometimes it lasts in love, but sometimes it hurts instead. I'm such a goober. I delete that. I live across from a school. Can you see it out there? I'm throwing my marker around. Okay. And then when I go to the whoops. Um I'm addicted to coffee. Like, oh, I just heard my dryer go. Sorry. You guys see the subscribe button? The the one the arrow's pointing to? You're gonna wanna hit that right now. Right right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm.